The Cleveland Browns might be the worst franchise in the entire league and might be the, the worst franchise in all of sports. So we're doing something a little bit different here on the channel. We are going to be doing a franchise rebuild with the Cleveland Browns. Last year we did, I believe, the Colts. And the year before that, I think we did, might have been Seattle. And the year before that was the Bears and Jets. So we are going with the Cleveland Browns this year. And obviously, the big thing we got to take care of is this whole Deshaun Watson issue with, you know, obviously all of the... Uh, the cap issues that would result in possibly cutting him and obviously with what's going on right now there's a good chance the browns just might have to cut him there is a slight chance that cleveland could possibly get some of that money back but it's 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 a complete disaster it's a complete failure from this team so we're taking over and we're fixing this whole thing all right Hope you guys are excited for this series. If you are, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button because we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. And uh, if you guys hit that like button, it does really help out this video. It helps it get through the YouTube algorithm and uh, really helps the channel grow. So I would really appreciate it if you guys did that. And also, let me know in the comments below what to do with this team. And if you're a Browns fan, what young players do you guys want to see play a little bit more and develop and, and all of that? So let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think and how we should handle this whole situation. Because it's not just the Deshaun Watson issue. We also got to figure out what to do with Nick Chubb. Obviously, he's going to miss the first, I don't know. I mean, in the game, it says five weeks of the season. It could be more in real life. We'll see. This is a really good defense. However, there's some guys coming up on contracts. Greg Newsome, we're going to have to re-sign, and he's going to be a top corner and really expensive, right? Uh, we do have Emerson Jr., who has probably another two, three years on his rookie deal. Obviously, Denzel Ward, who signed long-term. We got to re-sign JOK. Uh, the safeties are a little bit up in the air. Uh, we got to figure out what to do with Harris Jr. Uh, or not Harris, Hall Jr. Uh, obviously, he's on the commissioner exempt list. <laughs> why, why are we drafting guys like this, Cleveland? Why are we doing this to ourselves? Um, it's not great. It's not great. So, yeah, this team is kind of a mess. Now, in Madden overall wise, it's an 87 across the board. Which, the offensive line is really good. David Njoku is awesome. You got Amari Cooper. But a lot of the veterans who are very good on this team, we won't be able to re-sign them. So that's part of the issue. Uh, and what we're going to do, if we go ahead and take a look at the salaries here. Because this is where it gets tricky. Whereas, like, this season, this is a team that could potentially make the playoffs right however the future of this team is a complete complete disaster and the first thing is deshaun watson i'm just gonna flat out cut him uh i don't want him on my team i don't want him to even sit on the bench i i don't i don't want him on the team at all um he doesn't deserve to be on a team i i just i don't want him on the team i don't I don't care if they suspend him for the rest of the year and keep him on the I don't I, I'm cutting him. I don't want him on the team. Uh, so that's that. Now, what that does is while well, we have $80 million uh, penalty. So that's going to affect some things. And that's going to pretty much prevent us from re-signing guys. So somebody like Nick Chubb, who's a free agent. I don't think we're going to be able to re-sign him. I'm going to find a way to re-sign JOK. I, I, I got to find a way. Uh, so once we get past this week and we are able to negotiate and, and try to get a good look of what our cap issue is, then we'll try to work on that. But it's, yeah, man, it's a complete disaster. Let's get into the storylines again. Let me know in the comments below. Like, what players do you guys think I should really try to hold on to? 
what young players, maybe uh, some rookies that you guys are really excited about for this team, let me know. Uh, I overheard Isaiah McGuire saying that he feels like he can learn a lot from Miles Garrett. He asked me if I could have Miles mentor him. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what do I need to know beforehand? Sure, let's let me talk to Miles. Uh, um, okay, so what do I need to know beforehand? Uh, and if their personalities match, you'll get the best results. If they don't, Isaiah McGuire will still learn from him, but just not as much. Sure, I, I don't I don't think we really have anything to lose here. So we'll go ahead and set up a, a meeting with Miles Garrett. Uh, any any time Miles Garrett could can help out a young player, we are going to let him do that. Hey, coach, I hear you want me to mentor Isaiah McGuire. Uh, definitely help me develop him. Okay. Uh, I'm listening. How much of my time will this take up? Oh boy. Depends on how much effort you put in. Okay. Uh, coach, I really don't have time for this. Why should I do it? <laughs> oh no. You're a leader on this team. It's your responsibility. Uh, your follow I don't know what his personality is. Your followers on socials will love the story. That's stupid. Uh, you're unpredictable and nobody expects you to do this. Uh, take this kid through your intense workouts. Intense personality. I don't think he has a leader personality based on the response he gave us. It's either unpredictable or intense. I feel like... Take this kid through your intense workouts. I feel like that's a good thing. Okay, you've convinced me. Okay, I think I picked the right the right thing. Uh, I appreciate it. Cool. So, uh, Miles Garrett's going to help out. Uh, we'll check back in within uh, with you in a few weeks. Okay, uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't know a ton about the, the Browns roster. So, I don't know who McGuire is. I'm assuming he's a young edge guy. I'm assuming. Uh, yes. Okay. So 66 overall. He's 23. Okay. He was drafted last year. What round were you uh, drafted? I don't remember. Uh, let's see. He was, where did I say awards? Okay. He was a fourth round pick. He's a guy that we could possibly develop. Uh, now we have Zadarius Smith. He's 31. He's somebody that I would like to possibly trade halfway through the year because I don't think we're going to have a good record. Um, he has two years left on his deal. Cap hit would be $5 million. Okay, I don't know. I oh Man, I would like to trade him before he regresses, right? Because we could wait till next year. The cap hit wouldn't be as much, but I don't think we would get as much value from him. So, like, that's the issue there. Man, this team, this team, it's it's not a not a good situation. It really isn't. Uh, offensively, other than quarterback, you've got Ford. I do I do like Jerome Ford. We're gonna give him elusive back, and I think he could be our running back for the future. We're gonna lose Nick Chubb, which begs the question: Do we trade Nick Chubb? Because we know we're gonna lose him. That could also be a possibility. Jerome Ford, 91 speed, 92 excel. Um, definitely want him to develop. He's only 24. Definitely going to use him as a focus player. We need to get his dev trait up to star dev. That's going to be a big, uh, a big goal for us throughout the year. Uh, Pierre Strong Jr. He's 25 in his second year. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm probably just going to really focus on Jerome Ford at wide receiver. We're going to lose Amari Cooper. I believe he's a free agent as well. We're not going to be able to re-sign guys. It's just that's the reality of it. So Amari Cooper might be someone that we trade. Again, if we know we're going to lose him, we, he's he's very valuable. So halfway through the year, I may, oh man, do I just make trades now? I might just make trades now. Jerry Judy, former Bronco. He's 25. I don't know if he's somebody that I want to use long term or not. Let me know. Browns fans, are you excited about Jerry Judy? Do you want me to focus on him? I like Elijah Moore. I thought he could have been really good with the New York Jets. Uh, we actually had Elijah Moore as a rookie in um, the Jets franchise a few years ago. He's a solid receiver. But again, I just I don't know how much we're really going to be able to develop him. So... I don't know. Uh, David Bell, 
23 years old he's slow but could be somebody that we try to develop and maybe we we move on from amari cooper uh and then there is jamari thrash he's a rookie uh 90 speed 93 excel 79 spectacular catch i think obviously he's gonna be somebody that we really try to focus on progressing so i think i would probably just focus on thrash instead of elijah moore um maybe focus on bell and thrash i don't know and then and then judy in the slot maybe we can do something like that obviously david and joku i believe he just signed a, a longer term deal he's 28 a little worried about him regressing so we'll see on him but yeah i mean this this team is kind of a mess right now so i'm gonna make a deal here with the la chargers now i could probably get their first round pick i just don't think that's a realistic thing to expect um and a second and third is also a lot uh but we're gonna give up amari cooper and i just feel like going after the first round pick would be too much like i don't think anybody's trading a first round pick for amari cooper i just i don't um but can i get a second and a third and then give up a sixth i think that's more than doable so we are trading amari cooper to the la chargers they need a receiver i thought about waiting to make trades but i might as well just do it now and that way we can just use the guys that we want to use and develop the guys that we want to develop we're taking over here like you know is this going to be super realistic no but i do want to try to make it somewhat decent uh since we're gonna be using mcguire as a as someone who's gonna be being taught by garrett it makes actually sense to trade smith here and just trade him now um he's 31 he's gonna regress with madden like it just it makes sense to trade him so that's what we're going to do uh, and we're going to find a good offer. We're going to do a similar package here with the Indianapolis Colts. They have cap room. It says we have cap room right now. We won't once it kind of updates with the Deshaun Watson uh, release. Uh, so it's actually smarter to make these trades now because we may not be able to later. Uh, so yeah, we are trading Zadarius Smith for, again, a similar deal. I, again, I don't think it's realistic to get a first round pick for Zadarius Smith. Um is it a lot for a second and a third? Maybe. Maybe it is too. Uh, but it's just how Madden works, right? So we're giving up a sixth. We're giving up Zadarius Smith. We're, grab we're grabbing a second and a third. Again, allowing younger guys to play and to just let some of these vets go that we're, we're not going to want into the future. Like, it's just, yeah, pretty simple. So I think those are the only trades right now. I can't trade Nick Chubb even if I wanted to. Uh, so we're going to hold off on that. I don't know. I don't know if we trade Nick Chubb or not. I'm I'm honestly really conflicted. We might, we may not even be able to re-sign him in general. So like it may make sense to, to trade him uh, because we're, then we're just going to lose him for nothing. So I don't know. We'll see uh, what I want to do with that. Uh, but we are going to play uh, Thrash. And we are going to I'm gonna figure out the wide receiver spot because there's a couple of players I kind of want to look a little bit more into. They did draft Zinter. What's their O-line looking like in real life? Because they drafted Zinter. I wonder if who's playing the center for them really okay. So he is a guard. Alright, he just he has hidden dev. Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep the offensive line how it is. I don't think we really need to make any other moves. I think we're good. I'm going to make McGuire a, a left end. And I'm going to put I'm going to have him start at left end. Juan Thornhill actually got injured in real life as well and was put on the IR. Um, he's not going to be a long term player for us anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start Hickman um he's 22 and we'll see if he develops and we'll see if we we need safety later on again we're just we're building for the future at this point right like we're just we're moving on we're also getting jerome ford gold uh here as the focus player 
Uh, I'll show you guys the other two focus players that we're going to have so far. And obviously, the goal would be to get six eventually at some point. Hopefully this season, as long as we can, you know, get some, some more coaching points. But uh, I'm just going to run out this clock. And we should be able to get gold here in a second. Boom. There we go. Jerome Ford, gold. And would love to get star dev for Jerome Ford. That would be amazing. That's probably going to be the big goal of this season. Getting Jerome Ford a star dev. We don't. Isaiah McGuire, we are going to do the trench battle with. Uh, if he could end up being our edge rusher opposite of Miles Garrett, that would be that would be amazing. That would be awesome. Now, he's only a 66 overall or, yeah, right? Something like that. So the likelihood of this happening is pretty low, right? We're, we're probably just going to have to find someone else in, in the draft or, or whatever. But not in free agency because we're not going to have money. So it's going to have to be the draft. <laughs> uh, however, you know, if, if he could have maybe a good year, if he can maybe get some good, decent bonuses with having Miles Garrett be his mentor, that would be awesome. And then, you know, if we get to get him star dev, that would also be great in these focus. Uh player drills whatever we don't get it there jamari thrash we will go ahead and do wide receiver battle here for him hopefully he can become our number one wide receiver as well like i said i don't have jerry judy as a long-term fix at wide receiver if you guys want me to you know try to get jerry judy as our number you know as a, a long-term option you know, then maybe we could do it. Uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. The problem with... Did I really not get two feet in there? That's really annoying. The problem with that is uh, just... We're going to have to pay Jerry Judy at some point here. Because it was a trade and I don't think they gave him an extension. I could, I could be wrong on that. But I don't remember seeing that they gave him an extension so i'm gonna assume that they didn't um but they might have i don't i don't know i i don't i don't remember seeing anything about that uh but he did have a nice grab in, in week one in real life we are gonna get gold there with jamari thrash he also i think might have had a drop i don't i don't remember but uh let's see if we got thrash star dev no we didn't okay we just got xp for those three guys but as of right now those three guys are going to be our main focus players. Greg Newsom with an upgrade. We are going to give him probably man coverage. He's another guy where I'm I'm going to be honest, guys. I have no idea if we're going to be able to keep Greg Newsom. Uh, so right now, looking at his contract, he's, he's in his fourth year. So obviously, we have the fifth year option on him. After that, he's going to be really expensive really expensive we have cameron mitchell we could also draft a corner uh so i don't know man i i want to keep greg newsome but at the same time i just don't know if we're going to be able to like flat out i have no idea 79 speed okay so he's going to be more of a power rusher so we'll give him that he moves up to a 67 overall plus two power moves uh, okay, so we'll see. We'll see uh, on him. But yeah, I'm I'm really not sure what we're going to do with Greg Newsome. That's going to be one of the tougher decisions we're going to have to make because of just financially what to do. And we also have pretty good depth at corner. So like, I don't know. It'll, it'll be interesting. It's a really good quarterback, wide receiver, cornerback group now i did not make my national scout a quarterback scout partially because it's easier to figure out quarterback so i'm not really worried about that wide receiver is a big deal and cornerback is interesting i also made a, a safety as an expertise because we, we're gonna have to figure out safety uh specifically in the west where we're also looking at quarterbacks in central we're looking at quarterbacks and corners uh northeast we're looking at defensive ends and outside linebackers and then the Southeast, we're looking at wide receivers, quarterbacks. Uh, so yeah, those are kind of the focus 
Here are the sliders that I will be starting with with this series. This is just based on my experience with the game so far. Uh, again, this is going to be something that's going to be changing throughout. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, we're, we're going to go with this. So if you guys want to copy these sliders or, or whatever, go ahead. Um, I'm not doing anything with penalties. But if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. But those are the sliders as of right now again i i may change things if it's too easy or or too difficult all right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do two games in this episode so let's get into game number one against the jacksonville jaguars week two coming off of a loss to the dallas cowboys uh if you guys don't realize i'm starting here in week two not week one we're just starting where we are in, in real life so that's how we're doing it uh but Jameis winston is getting the start at quarterback. We have cut Deshaun Watson. And we're moving on. We're going to take the, the penalty. And we're just going to hope that it works out. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. There is Trevor Lawrence. They are coming off of a tough loss to the Miami Dolphins. So both teams 0-1. We are on the road here in Jacksonville for week number two. We've got eight minute quarters. We have our sliders set. And here is the brand new kickoff here in the NFL. And we are underway in Jacksonville. Now look, we still have a good team, right? I don't expect to be, you know, a four, a four win team as their return was really good out to the 37. Uh, Trevor Lawrence's numbers through week one. I actually just simulated week one. I didn't do the start at week two. Uh, so the numbers are going to be different from, from real life, uh, just to let you guys know. Um, but I did set, you know, I, I did force wins to, to the right teams. So that's kind of just how I, I did that. Uh, but here we go. First play of the game, we see McGuire in at defensive end. We got Miles Garrett also at defensive end, as Travis Etienne will get the first carry of the game. And it will be a gain of about one on the play. ETN last week, 69 yards rushing. And we have a second and nine for Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Lawrence will hand it off once again. ETN breaks a tackle. It's Ward with the tackle. Finally bringing down Travis ETN. And we'll have a third and four. It's a good defense. I fully expect to be still in the playoff run, even without Amari Cooper, even without Zadarius Smith. Right, so I still expect it as that's going to be caught over the middle. And Jacksonville will have a first down. Second and 10 for Jacksonville as they're down to the 34 yard line. And Lawrence to throw. That's going to be. Oh, knocked away. Emerson couldn't haul it in. That was a near interception thrown by Trevor Lawrence. Oh, man, that should have been caught. Emerson could not hold on to it. Lawrence under pressure, and he's going to throw it away. So good job by the defense getting a stop and forcing Jacksonville to kick a field goal here to take a 3-0 lead. And the kick is going to be up and good. So Jacksonville will take a 3-0 lead to start off week two. So Jameis Winston, the new quarterback here for the Cleveland Browns, obviously moving on. From Watson did not play last week he is getting the start this week and we are going to focus on running the ball right I look Jameis Jameis is okay he's not terrible but he's not good as Ford goes nowhere that's Walker making the play there all right well we're gonna keep running it we need Jerome Ford to have good games here and we got a good block from Njoku, and that's going to be a decent run. It's a gain of about four on the play. So third and seven. We're going to have to throw the ball this time. And all right, I like this on third and seven. Jameis back to throw. That's going to be a tight window knocked away. Yeah, it was a tight window. I thought I could possibly get that completed, but it's going to be incomplete. And we will have to punt. It's going to be a lot of this this season, unfortunately, and probably next season as well. 
Oh boy, that's gonna be completed over the middle. It's Ingram across midfield. Trevor Lawrence with 53 passing yards so far in this one. And that's a big gain for Evan Ingram. So three minutes to go here in the first quarter and uh, that will be uh, a no gain for Travis Etienne. Man, I put the CPU run blocking up even more and they still can't get any movement up front. I might have to up that even more. Lawrence back to throw and that's up the seam. It's wide open. I thought I could maybe pass him off, but Evan Ingram wide open. A great throw from Trevor Lawrence. And that's a first down. So first and 10 from the 18. And Lawrence back to throw. It's knocked away by Greg Newsome. Nice play from Newsome. So second and 10 for Lawrence and the Jags. And that's going to be completed. It couldn't bring down Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram fights inside the five to the four yard line. JOK's got to be able to make that tackle. He's got to be able to make that tackle. First and goal. It's play action and down goes Trevor Lawrence. Fields the second with the sack. It'll be second and goal from the 13. A big play there. I'm going to use her JOK. We'll watch Travis Etienne. If Etienne doesn't go, oh no, he will. All right. And that's going to be a quick throw to the outside. And down at the one. Goodness. All right. So third and goal from the one. We'll see if they throw the ball again. What are we doing here? All right. Quick throw from Lawrence. It's caught. No, it's not. Ingram couldn't get the second foot down. It was a quick throw from Lawrence. Luckily, he stepped out of bounds. So fourth and goal from the one. Come on, defense. Make a play. They're going to run it to ETN into the end zone. Touchdown. So Jacksonville will take a 10-0 lead here at the end of quarter number one. Jerome Ford, a gain of a, a couple, but a holding call on first down set us back so third and nine for Jameis and under pressure we're gonna have to get rid of it all right well that didn't work uh protection not great there Trayvon Walker making a nice play and we'll have to punt again third and inches here close to midfield and Trevor Lawrence is gonna be sacked JOK coming through Jeremiah Owosu Kamara, I can't say his name. Tay OK. <laughs> it's a tongue twister, man. I don't know. All right. That's a good stop. We're still down 10 0. But we get the ball back for our offense. I'm going to return this. See if I can have a good return here. Uh, no, the blocking wasn't amazing. We're out to the 19. And there's an injury on the field. Not sure who that is, but we do have an injury. We just we gotta we gotta get some yardage on the ground. We just haven't been good running the ball, but there goes Jerome Ford. A nice run there. He has five carries for 22 yards. His nicest his best run of the of the game so far. And we're gonna get to the outside, and Ford will have a first down. That is our first first down of the game. Good run here for Ford. And Ford has a first down across midfield. We are just going to keep running the ball. Uh, we're going to get thrashed the ball, actually, on this jet sweep. See if he can make a play. Nope, that's just completely blown up. The blocking just not good there. It'll be second and 13. Um, I actually like this. Let's see if something gets open here. Oh, no. I tried to throw it. He handed it off. Never mind. Not great. All right. Well, now it's a two-minute warning. Uh, I'm not going to go play action here. We're just going to have to try to get rid of the ball fairly quickly here. And over the middle, it's caught! Elijah Moore! What a throw from Jameis. Under pressure. 
and Elijah Moore. That's a heck of a catch from Elijah Moore. All right, let's get back to running the ball here. And there's a flag. Don't tell me there's another hold. Oh, goodness gracious. Another hold. It's Jedrick Wills again. He had the hold earlier that destroyed our last drive. Unbelievable. All right. Well, we got to get rid of it quickly, and Judy drops it. Shocker. They blitzed. I wasn't really ready for it, and it's a drop. All right. Well, second and 20. Empty backfield, and hit as we throw, incomplete. It's third and 20. Oh, boy. Offensive line really struggling in this one. Um, I'm just going to have... Thrash on a go here. Now, there's going to be safety help, but we might have David Njoku. That's a great throw, but Njoku could not break away there. So, Jackson will use a timeout. We're going to go ahead and kick this field goal. At least get some points on the board here, and we will. It's going to be 10 to 3 with a minute and 26 to go. Oh, my goodness. That was caught. Oh, he fumbled it, and it's recovered by Delpit. Evan Ingram kept trying to fight forward, and he dropped it. Grant Delpit with the recovery, and the Browns defense gets a turnover. There we go. Who knocked that out? I'm not sure who gets, is going to get credit for that. Delpit might get credit for knocking that free. Either way, a minute and 13 to go. And we have the ball again. And Thrash got destroyed, but he held on to it. That's a hell of a catch by the rookie. He got absolutely killed. Probably shouldn't get our rookie killed on the football field. Jerry Judy, another drop. Oh, boy. I'm going to say that a lot in this series. <laughs> get used to it, Browns fans. As a Bronco fan... Yeah, uh, we dealt with it quite a bit, and oh, we just couldn't. Okay, fourth and one. I, I can't. I can't put my defense in a bad situation. They've been really good. So I'm just, I'm not going to risk it. We're going to punt it. See if we can get this out of bounds here. Come on, give me a good bounce. We do. Let's go. Down at the two. All right. All right, now let's just not give up anything crazy, please. That was a hell of a punt. Lawrence back to throw. It's going to be a quick throw, and we'll be caught for a gain of four. Lawrence, 160 yards, so they're getting the yardage, but haven't really been able to execute in the red zone. Not really. I mean, one of two. I guess they're 50%, but our defense has been solid. 40 seconds to go here. Lawrence in shotgun. And that's going to be nearly, oh my God, Delpit nearly had a second turnover. I put interceptions down, so we're going to have drop picks. Oh my God, we got to catch that. Third and six, Lawrence under, it's wide open. Oh, oh my God, dude. Ninety-three yards. What happened, defense? What in the world happened? A drop pick turns into a 93-yard touchdown. Unbelievable. Well, that's devastating. We've gotten the ball to the 41-yard line here. And I think I'm just going to take a shot, throw it up to Thrash. And incomplete, yeah. Wanted that more on the outside. I think I screwed that throw up. But we're going to be down 17-3 to at the half. Second and nine. Jerome Ford with a few runs. Gets us to the 45-yard line. And can I get that? It's a good throw. No. Didn't have the arm strength. That's going to be picked off. And taken back. I, I needed to throw that sooner. It's taken back to the 25-yard line, and Jameis Winston with the pick. 
Well, not great, as this will be a carry for Etienne. He stays on his feet, and he's brought down to the 22-yard line, an injury for Jacksonville. Third and seven, Lawrence had to throw it away on second down. And Lawrence under pressure. Get to him. Oh, my God, dude. We're just going to let him run? Don't just stand there. Go after him. Oh, that, that is so irritating. Big first down from Lawrence. And that will be completed for a gain of three. 256 yards and a touchdown for Trevor Lawrence. I mean, most of that came from one play, which obviously is really frustrating. And Etienne will break a tackle and gets into the end zone. And Jacksonville will extend their lead at 24 to three. I might take a shot here. No, Thrash just can't get any separation. Nearly caught it on the tip. But yeah, he just he's not getting any separation. Unfortunately, we'll go play action and get that to David Njoku and David Njoku to the 40 yard line. Good catch and run from the superstar tight end. And we'll get back to the run game here with Jerome Ford and uh, there's just nowhere to go. Third and four. And I'm gonna get that across the middle as to thrash. So the rookie receiver with another grab. And we'll have another first down. So the offense moving here. I'm going to hand this off to Ford. And Ford, a good run up the middle. Nearly a, another first down. It'll be second in inches. We're going to go. I mean, I could take a shot. You know what? Second in inches. I like to take a shot here. Let's see if we can get anything downfield. We just we don't have enough time. I just I needed Thrash to to get across the middle a little a little bit faster there. We're gonna run the ball here. Try to get the first down with Ford. And Ford will have the first down. We've got third and five. And I'm gonna quick throw that to Thrash. He holds on to it and breaks a tackle to the 13 yard line. Nice play by the rookie wide receiver. All right. That was a good sign. And I don't like it. We're just, that's going to be intentional grounding because we're going to throw it to where there's nobody. Ugh. The pressure is just brutal right now. So second and 25 now. I mean, we can't make that mistake. That just, that cannot happen. And we're going to throw it up. It's Thrash! Touchdown! The rookie! First touchdown catch of his career. What a throw from Jameis under pressure. From Trayvon Walker. And it was a perfect throw. There we go. All right. I like that. Oh, they're going to review it. Please don't take it away. Oh, thank God. All right, he got both feet in. Whew. We're going to kick this extra point. And it's up and good. It's 24 to 10. Down goes Trevor Lawrence. It's Miles Garrett with the sack. And it'll be second and 17. But Jacksonville has been driving and doing really anything they want offensively here. And they're just, you know, wasting time and, and whatnot. Obviously down by two scores here. So Lawrence will hand it off. Nowhere to go. Nice play there. And it'll be third and 20. Nice play by McGuire. Learning a little bit of something from Miles Garrett, hopefully. Third and 20. Need a stop here. Do not give up a first down on third and 20, please. And that's going to be caught over the middle. Big hit by JOK. And it'll be fourth and nine. 300 passing yards for Trevor Lawrence. And Jacksonville, I mean, they wasted a ton of time. They're going to get points out of this. So, unfortunately, 
Oh, Jesus. I let go of the controller, and he ran into the kicker. Oh, my God, dude. Come on. Oh, all right. Well, never mind. We're not going to get the ball back. Travis Etienne into the end zone. I didn't think he actually got in. Well, we're going to lose 31 to 10. Back to back weeks where uh, we just get blown out. Nice throw there to Elijah Moore, and he's across midfield to the 46 yard line. We'll go no huddle. And we're going to get this to Njoku. Nice grab. It was an inaccurate throw. Because of that inaccurate throw, Njoku wasn't able to get out of bounds. So we do have a first down, and we're going to be sacked. Uh, I keep forgetting that Jameis just cannot move. So second and 20. And he gets hit as he throws. I had Elijah Moore. We just didn't have time again. Third and 22. And she's going to throw it up to Thrash. See if he can make a play. He can't. It'll be fourth and 22. I mean, we're going to lose anyways. We might as well try to get him the ball, <laughs> I guess. I'm just going to have Njoku just go up the seam. See if I can get it to him. And that will be incomplete. Knocked away. Jacksonville will take over, and we're going to lose 31 to 10. We lose 31 to 10. Lawrence with 18 of 27, 300 yards and one touchdown. Jameis, 13 of 28, 172, a touchdown and a pick. Jerome Ford, 18 carries, 77 yards. Etienne had three rushing touchdowns in this game. Evan Ingram killed us. Uh, David Njoku, 6 for 69. Thrash, 4 for 60 and a touchdown. Elijah Moore, 2 for 34. Judy stunk. Um, he had two drops in this game. And then defensively, seven tackles for JOK and Hickman. JOK with two TFLs and a sack. Miles Garrett and Tony Fields, the second, with a sack. No interceptions, but pass deflections for Greg Newsome, who had two. Delpit, Hickman, and Emerson each had one. Moving on to week two, we do have, or week three, we do have a breakout here for a linebacker. And it's going to be Tony Fields second. All right. Um, let's take a look at the other goals here and see if any of these are better. Five tackles and a TFL. Five tackles and a sack interception. Okay, so let's do the five tackles and a TFL. Um, and we'll see if he's able to get that. Might be kind of tough. Um, but Tony Fields, I mean, he, he played well in the last game. So he has an opportunity. Regional focus in here. So, uh, or focus scouting. So let's go ahead and set these. Uh, so for the West... Let's go with, let's go with quarterback for the West. We'll go with quarterback for the Central. Um, uh, you know what? No. No. Let's do safety. I I feel like we're gonna be fine at quarterback as far as being able to scout without having it like a hundred percent, right? So let's do safety and corner, and then Northeast. Let's go. Um, let's go defensive end. Try to maybe find someone opposite of Miles Garrett. And then we'll do wide receiver in the southeast. So we should be all set there. And let's get into week number three against the Giants. Before we get into our week three game against the Giants, look at this. So we have $14 million in cap room. We've got to sign. We, we've, I mean, we might have to let Jedrick. Will, no, we, we've got to sign Wills, man. We've got to sign Wills. Uh, JOK is already signed. I forgot about that. Um, so we're good there. But only $14 million. 
Do I sign Jadrick Wills? I, he did have two holding. You know what? I might just wait then. And maybe we draft somebody instead. I, he had two holding calls. I don't know. It, it's going to be tough financially. <laughs> it's going to be really, really tough financially. So we'll see what happens. But this game is very winnable against the Giants. So let's see if we can get this win. We've got a rain game here in Cleveland, Ohio. As we take on the New York Giants, both teams 0-2. Although we've had a tougher schedule, right? We've had to play Trevor Lawrence and Dak Prescott. Um, and the Giants just flat out stink. So there's that. Uh, but Daniel Jones, the starting quarterback for the New York Giants. 428 yards, a touchdown, and five picks for two weeks. That's not good. <laughs> That's, yeesh, that is terrible. All right. I, we've got to find a way to win this game. We've got to find a way. And that's going to be caught. And for some reason, we couldn't make a tackle there. And it's, oh, wow, they're going to give him a first down. I did not think he got the first down there. All right, well, first and 10. This will be a run to Singletary, and Singletary did break a tackle and gains three on the play, 59 yards rushing a week ago. JOK on the blitz, and he has a sack. Back-to-back -back weeks with the sack for JOK. Miles Garrett might have gotten there too. He was on his way. And a big play there from the Cleveland defense. So now, third and 16 for Daniel Jones. A, a, a turnover would be great in this situation. Over the middle, it is caught, but not enough for a first down. And it'll be fourth and nine, and New York will go ahead and punt. Jameis last week, not really great percentage-wise, uh, below 50%, but 170 yards, a touchdown. Oh, the touchdown was a great throw to Thrash, the rookie wide receiver. But unfortunately... Uh, just not a, a good game overall as there's nowhere to go. This defensive line for the Giants is very good. Obviously, you got Lawrence uh, signing one of my favorite edge rushers in the league as we're going to go ahead and throw the ball again. We have Thrash over the middle and Thrash. Nice catch. Nice throw from Jameis Winston. But they did sign Brian Burns over the offseason. It's a very good defensive line. Obviously, Kayvon Thibodeau. And we'll hand this off to Ford, and Ford will have a gain of six. Jerome Ford last week, 18 carries, 77 yards. Really trying to develop him. He could potentially be our uh, starting running back over the next few years. It, as we're, I mean, we don't have the cap space to sign Nick Chubb. I mean, could we maybe try to open up enough? Maybe, but then it's the other thing of he's 28. He's going to start regressing. We could trade him and get a lot of value. So, I don't know. I haven't really fully decided. It wouldn't let me throw that ball sooner for some reason. But David Njoku does come up with the ball. And it'll be a first down. Let's get back to running the ball here. Get it to Ford. And Ford will have another gain of about three. Four carries, seven yards for Jerome Ford. So, second and seven. And maybe look over in the middle here to Judy. No, we're just going to have to get rid of it. Again, not great protection. It's going to be another catch for David Njoku. And we'll have third and four. What do I like here? Um, let's just go with the drag route underneath to Atkins. And Atkins will have a first down. All right, so three first downs so far. A good start. Can we get that to David Njoku? We do. Another first down, and we're down to the 23-yard line. So a really good first drive. We'll hand this off to Jerome Ford, and Ford up the middle. Dude, 78, you got to make that block on Brian Burns. You got to help me out. You can't just run past Brian Burns. He's going to make the play. Second and four, and I should have just bounced that outside. Ford breaks a tackle, maybe gains a yard but it will be third and three. Getting towards the end of the, third, or of the first quarter. 
And Judy wide open. Please hold on to it. Judy down to the one. Couldn't quite get into the end zone, but a good throw from Jameis. As we're getting towards the end of the first. I'm going to snap it. We're going to get it to Jerome Ford here. See if he can get into the end zone. And he can. Jerome Ford. Touchdown. And we are on the board. We'll take, pending the extra point, a 7-0 lead to end the first quarter. That was a fantastic drive. Singletary with a couple of nice runs has gotten the Giants across midfield. Breaks another tackle. And he has a gain of six. All of a sudden, Devin Singletary just running right through our defense. Come on. Somebody make a play. Jones back to throw. It's going to be over the middle, and it's caught by Malik Neighbors, the rookie wide receiver for the Giants. It was a nice catch, and he was able to hold on to it. But again, our defense struggling, and it's going to be another run, but nowhere to go. It's Ward making the play. It's going to be a TFL for Denzel Ward. It was a nice play by the veteran corner. So second and 11 for Daniel Jones. And Jones will just get rid of it to Singletary. Good coverage. And it'll be third and six. All right, defense, come on. Somebody make a play here. Don't let them get a first down. Third and six. They're going to the back corner of the end zone. Knocked away. Greg Newsom knocks that one away. And the Giants will have to settle for a field goal. So the defense does their job once they got into the red zone. And the Giants will take a field goal, and it'll be 7-3. Ford gets us across midfield with a few nice runs. And Winston nearly throws a pick. Trying to get that to Elijah Moore. We were late on the throw. And that will fall incomplete. So third and four now, and we'll have Elijah Moore this time. That's going to be caught. A little low on that throw, but Elijah Moore makes the, makes the nice catch. All right, let's get back to the run game here. Get it to Jerome Ford here. And Ford, uh, we just didn't get the best blocking on the left side there. Probably could have just cut that back instead. So second and eight. And we'll have David Njoku again. And that's a gain of six on the play. Not quite a first down. We'll have third and two. I actually like this. Let's see if someone can get open here. Um, I'm just going to dump it down. It'll be Atkins with the catch down to the 23-yard line. Again, our offense has been really good, especially throwing the ball. If we can get rid of it quick, their secondary isn't great. We'll get it to Ford on the screen, and Ford will have a gain of nine. Good blocking downfield, and we'll have second and one. A minute and 40 here to go in the second half. We'll just dump it off to David Njoku again. Winston 103 yards throwing or passing. So first and goal from the seven. And I'm going to get it to Judy down to the one. Nearly had the touchdown. All right, let's go with the toss here. Try to get Ford on. Oh, no, this is going to be Foreman. You know what? No. We're going to just power run this here with Deontay Foreman. And Foreman into the end zone. Easy touchdown run. And we will take a... Pending the extra point, a 14-3 lead with a minute and six seconds. Perfect. This is exactly how we want to play. Great defense and running the ball. Wow, that's caught over the middle. And the Giants across midfield to the 46. I really don't want to give up points here. Come on, someone get after Daniel Jones. And that's going to be knocked away. Why didn't he try to catch the ball? Denzel Ward breaks that pass up, but he could have had a pick six. All right, well, second and ten. That's going to be... How is that caught? Over Denzel Ward. Unbelievable. 
No way was that caught. Oh, my goodness. All right, Ward. Not Ward. Jones to Malik Neighbors, touchdown. Uh, Madden CPU, under two minutes, is the most difficult thing in the world to stop. I mean, five plays, 68 yards in 29 seconds. When there's less than two minutes, I don't know how you stop the CPU. It's insane. So 30 seconds to go. I mean, if we get a nice return here, we might be able to get some points out of this. 26 seconds to go at the 41. Yeah, I mean, let's go for it. Try to get in field goal range. Now, the rain and wind could affect some things. I want to get this to thrash. No, it's picked. That was a good read. I thought maybe if I just let him, he could go and get it. It's Isaiah Simmons. That was a hell of a play by Isaiah Simmons. And now the Giants have a chance to get more points on the board. Well, that was really dumb. Get him, Garrett. And Miles Garrett will have a sack. A weird looking sack, but we'll take it. Second and 20. Just don't give up any more points here. I'll, I'll take a 14 to 10 lead at the half. The one thing we couldn't do was throw a pick, and that's exactly what we decided to do. So second and 20. And Jones under pressure again from Garrett, and that will be thrown away nine seconds to go. All right. Don't give up a big play here. Third and 20. Don't let him get in field goal range. And that's going to be knocked away. Nice play by Greg Newsome. Six seconds to go. Are they going to go for it? They are. Why? What are they doing? If they don't waste all six seconds here, we may have a chance. Ah, uh, no. It, okay. They're going to waste all six seconds. And incomplete. That will be the half. We'll take a 14-10 lead. Start of the second half here. And that's going to be knocked away. I tried to get it to Thrash. We're under pressure immediately. And we're going to have to punt. So not a great start to the second half. As we will already have to punt it away. Not even a minute and a half into the second half. And the Giants will have the ball at the 28. We are really struggling to stop the run. The Giants have it down to the 48-yard line. And now Daniel Jones will take off. Good tackle. And it'll be second and 10. I'm going to I'm gonna all-out blitz here. Yeah. I'm going to all-out blitz. See if we can get after Daniel Jones here on second and 10. And we... That's going to be a big play. It's Theo Johnson, the rookie tight end. And he's going to have a first down to the red zone inside the or at the 20. So first and 10 for Daniel Jones. And that is going to be picked. It's Delpit with the interception. And Delpit will take it out to the 21-yard line. The defense... Comes up big there. Gets a turnover on Daniel Jones. His sixth interception through three weeks. Not good for Daniel Jones. Jerome Ford, 16 carries, but only 57 yards. We just really haven't gotten anything going on the ground. So second and eight. And we're going to have to roll out, get out. We have an open receiver. It's just not even close. If we're running... To our left, throwing on the run. It's not great, but I don't know. Got to make that throw. So Winston back to throw. And we have David Njoku. Nice grab, and he dropped it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to hold on to that. You're the best player on our offense. Oh, my goodness. That's a... That's a huge, huge drop. Third and 10 for the Giants here. We could really use a stop. And Jones will get rid of it. Nice tackle by Hicks. It'll be fourth and six. The defense gets a stop. All right. We get the ball back up 14 to 10 going into the fourth. We'll take it. 
Nice throw, and David Njoku breaks free. Six catches for 66 yards. That was a heck of a play from David Njoku using that speed. He's not the fastest tight end, but it worked out. Now Jerome Ford up the middle. He's going to have a first down. That's going to end the third quarter. Jerome Ford, 67 yards rushing. And we're looking good. We're getting it over the middle. It's a rookie thrash. And there goes thrash. Give me a block, Elijah. Damn it. Thrash, another nice grab and, and run, catch and run. And you know what? I'm going to change this play up. I like, I want to throw it here. And we're going to get it to Thrash. And he fumbles the ball. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, unbelievable. I mean, it's... Do we think they're going to run the ball? <laughs> Can we get a safety? No, JOK. They still gain two yards. Unbelievable. Well, uh, that's a horrible turnover from the rookie. I, it's, he's got to hold on to that. Tried too much to make a play, maybe. I don't know. Well, third and five. Just got to hope the defense bells him out and we can get the ball back. I'm going to press here. I might blitz with Delpit, too. And down goes Jones. He fumbled it. Grab it. Grab it. Somebody grab it. J-O-K. With the fumble. The, the strip sack. And we have the ball back at the two. I'm not sure who recovered it. Somebody did. I'm just sitting here screaming. Grab the ball. <laughs> Jerome Ford into the end zone. Touchdown. Woo. All right. The defense making plays. And we'll go ahead and kick the extra point. We'll lead it 21 to 10. Daniel Jones stinks. Oh, what a play by JOK. Another TFL. He's so good, man. He is so, so freaking good. Second and 12 now. And JOK. Oh, I thought I was going to get a sack. That's going to be caught. Malik Neighbors, a nice route. A good throw. Not sure who was covering. Was that the, the young corner there? It was. All right. Just under five minutes. Come on, defense. Let's not give up any more points. That'd be great. And we're going to give up more points. All right. That's caught inside the 15 to the 13 yard line. Don't give up a touchdown. How about how about that? Let's let's not give up a touchdown. Jones back to throw. And he's gonna try to run. Tumbleton is there. And he'll bring him down for a four yard sack. Finally getting some pressure on Daniel Jones without blitzing. And it'll be second and 14 for the Giants. Just under four minutes to go. The Giants do need a touchdown here, so they would probably... Oh, wow, and Jones is just going to take off and run. Okay. And it's going to be third and one. Everyone bid on that. All right, I don't think they're going to run the ball here. Yeah, they don't. And it's wide open. I, just, I completely left Singletary. So they're going to have a first down. They're going no huddle here. And it is caught. Malik Neighbors touchdown. Damn it. All right. Well, the Giants are going to go for two. Try to make this a field goal game. Let's see if we can get a stop here on the two-point conversion. Jones back to throw. And it's going to be converted. Unbelievable. How is he that wide open? Well, it's now 21-18. We're gonna need, we're gonna need a good drive here to at least run out the clock. A strong junior, nice return there out to the 34 yard line. Jerome Ford, two rushing touchdowns in this game, and we're gonna have to rely on him on this drive to see if we can run out this clock. It's now third and five. I'm gonna set up this screen here, and a first down would be huge. It wouldn't end the game necessarily, but it does work. And Ford 
will have a first down. So the Giants still have two timeouts here. So yeah, we we need one more first down, and this game is over. One more first down. Let's see if we can get it by running the ball here. Don't want to risk throwing an incompletion in Ford. I thought could have had it right there. It's a gain of just one on the play. I don't really want to run to the left there. So we're going we're gonna to run off to the right, and Ford can't get away. So we've got third and ten. All right, I'm going to throw the ball, but I might just check it down to Jerry Judy underneath. Um, oh, David Njuku, wide open. He's going to have the first down. Don't fumble it. And that will do it. We are going to get our first win of the year. Jameis, 17 of 22 for 200 yards. And that will do it. A great throw there. We're going to put two clock on, and we're just going to kneel this thing. We get the win 21 to 18. We barely beat the New York Giants. Although, I mean, we were up 21 to 10 at one point, so I don't know. We were, I mean, we were able to move the ball pretty well, I feel like. Jerome Ford had a great, great game. He had two rushing touchdowns in this one. Uh, Jameis was efficient, did throw a pick, but he was efficient, 77% completion percentage. Four 23, of, uh, 23 attempts, 80 yards, two touchdowns. Singletary, we could not really stop their run game. They were really good. Uh, David Njoku, 7 for 91. And Thrash, 3 for 51. Ford, 2 for 19. Judy, 2 for 21. And then defensively, Hicks with 10 tackles. Uh, two TFLs for JOK, including a sack. And then JOK, Hicks, Miles Garrett, and Tomlinson, uh, each with the sack. We had four sacks in this game. And Grant Delpit with the interception. I totally forgot about the linebacker that we were supposed to get five tackles in a TFL. He didn't play at all. Um, so, yeah, that sucks. Could have got him star dev. I totally forgot about that. Uh, but he does earn 2,500 XP, so whatever. That's all right. And we will head into week number four against the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. So we are one and two. On the year, the Raiders are 2-1, and one, and Jerome Ford is going to have a breakout challenge. Yes, that's what we're going to need. We're going to have the Raiders and the Commanders in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about this team. You know, any trades that you guys want to see, any young players that you guys want to see more of, let me know in the comments below. But like I said earlier, hit that like button. It does really help the channel out. So if you guys could do me a favor and uh, do so, it just it helps out, you know, these videos get into, you know, the YouTube algorithm and, and uh, allows my channel to grow even more. So I would, I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in week number four against the Las Vegas Raiders.